Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining up. I'm RJ. For the past week, I've been unable to post any new GTA 5 videos here at the channel because my HD capture device broke. I like to make all these videos live on the fly, unlike other channels here on YouTube that have heavily written scripts and they use pre-recorded footage. I like to make all these videos on the fly. It just gives me a chance to kind of mystery hunt along with you guys during every single episode. Luckily, last week we had two last episodes before the HD capture device broke. I was able to hook up with my French buddy, Giamenny. We made some pretty big videos, including one looking at the Karma Mural. Now, right now, we're working on our Karma playthrough on the Xbox One edition of GTA 5. And in tandem with that, we're unlocking the Alien Egg in GTA Online. We're doing both of those live so you guys can join up. Hit the notification button to let you know whenever they begin. But at the same time, you have this Karma mystery that goes completely unsolved. And there's a hidden map behind the mural itself. Uh oh You may hear the coffee machine in the background. I apologize. I forgot I started coffee during the uh, filming of this. Extremely mysterious, of course, with the hand gestures and all the messages. But behind everything, you have the map. Well, thanks to my buddy Giamenny, we know exactly what is behind this mural. There's some words that just don't seem to make any sense. So I'm going to show you guys the mural, or at least the map behind the mural, and then I'm going to show you that we may know exactly where this thing is pointing us to, guys. It's crazy stuff. I really need your feedback. And considering we're defeating the Karma playthrough and trying to solve all this at the same time, it's definitely pretty crazy. We got Red Dead Redemption 2 on the way, and I'm sure that those mysteries are going to be even harder to solve. So make sure you join up with the Trippy fam. If you guys want to join up, I'll be on both Xbox One Live and PS4 so you guys can join up and help us out. But let's get into the episode, my friends. Here it is. This image was originally posted on Reddit. I've been unable to find the original post. It looks like it's been deleted. But somebody pulled the image from Grand Theft Auto V's code and it was able to take the background out of the image so we can see the hidden maze. And the words are very confusing. There is lust, begin. That is the first word we found, begin, making us think that it was a maze. But if you look at this image, it really doesn't look like a maze to me. Bed, spirit. We did think that it said end, but instead... It says NB, so we'll take a closer look. We'll hop in the chopper and get closer to the mural in Grand Theft Auto V. And then there is Lost, or it could say Low Street. There's something behind that, but I think it says Lost Cloud. And then a very odd X. That is also something that I'm questioning. So let's jump into the chopper here, and let's get a closer look. The first thing that we got to look at is End, because that End basically was what confirmed it was a maze. If you have a begin and an end then it's got to be a maze, right? But when you look at it closer, it does look like it could be NB because the E is, is blocked. You see that right in the middle? That is the NB. Now, the first thing that I think of with NB is clearly Nico Bellic. So is there some sort of link behind this mural in GTA 4? Let me know what you guys think. It's really hard to tell. There's, it's no secret that you have all this stuff covering the map for a reason. So there's really no way for us to confirm it. But that is clearly begin. Let's bring it back up. Switch it over to the YouTube video. I'll have the link in the description. If you guys did not see the hey, be quiet. If you guys did not see the video um, that I'm referring to here. Now RS could be referring to the Sultan RS, which is one of the most well hidden vehicles in Grand Theft Auto 4. Possibly another link to GTA 4. And then of course Lost, the second, or I should say the first DLC for Grand Theft Auto 4 was the Lost and the Damned, starring Johnny Klebitz, who then gets killed off by Trevor, possibly all just references to GTA 4. Again, it's very confusing. You may also think that it is pointing us towards a location right here in Los Santos. Well, across the street from Tequila La, a bar that we currently own as Franklin, there's a location. Dang it, we got ran over. Right here, called The Lust Resort. Now, I doubt it is pointing us here, but the one thing that does make it a little bit suspicious is down the street from the Lust Resort, there's another location named after Lust. It is right here. It is called the Lust Shop. So I guess there could be a possibility that it is pointing us towards this particular area on the map. You have the observatory. I do have something I need to point out at the observatory, probably the next GTA 5 mystery video here at the channel. But there's also some strange billboards. You got Water Torture, uh, what is that, 4, Space Monkey 3D in the background, Destroy the Ring. 
There's a lot that can be said about this area. The other location that a lot of us think that it may be telling us to go to is the court center. Here's a second look at the map. Another word that we're looking at trying to figure out is spirit, but that's one that does have me thinking of the court center as well. So there's the court center map. I know it's not exact, but you have to remember there's a lot of different paths that run throughout this place and there's different layers as well. Then you have the bush maze. Then if you look at the names, the Baranda building, the Bell building, and the Mosley building, I have a feeling that those are an Easter egg as well, probably referencing somebody pretty important. So let's look at the banners because that's where we can find the direct link to what we're talking about, maybe showing us that the Court Center is important, at least in GTA Online, where for the most part it does go unused. This banner right here says Pharaoh's Riches, and it has an eye that looks a lot like the one, or at least it's intended to be like the one, on the Karma Mural. And then across the way, we've been talking about Grand Theft Auto 4 a little bit. I mentioned this before, but I have a feeling that considering this is really the only major reference to GTA 4 with the exact map on the banner, Liberty City Tales, and then you have the Karma Mural talking about NB, or at least mentioning NB, that has to be Nico Bellic. There's no other NB in Grand Theft Auto history than Nico Bellic. And here we have the Liberty City Tales. This is one of the most insane missions in the game. It's called the wrap up. Of course, it takes place here at the court center. We have to go meet Dave. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because it's also one of the most questionable missions in the storyline. Now, when we're doing our karma playthrough, we've decided to end it by eliminating Trevor, the ultimate villain here in Grand Theft Auto V. Even though he is a playable character, he actually saves Michael. So it shows me that he probably has some ulterior motives. He's saving Michael because he wants to do the big one. Okay, I do not remember this construction here. Are they not letting us go this way? All right, I made it. So you will notice that it starts off with just a confrontation between Michael and Dave, and then it just goes completely off the rails, and everybody who's gunning for Michael, Franklin, and Trevor decides to show up in this instance. Here these guys come out of nowhere. Those guys are from Grand Theft Auto 4, by the way, so yet another GTA 4 reference here at the Court Center. Merriweather, boom, right in the knee. Oh, there goes Sanchez. And then the mission begins. There's no way that Michael should be able to escape out of this, but Trevor appears with the 50 cal and saves the day, really making this one of the most memorable missions in the game. If it wasn't for Trevor, Michael would be done gotta. So what does that mean for Trevor, guys? I still think we have to eliminate him but this one definitely makes it hard to judge. With our plan to eliminate Trevor at the end of the Karma playthrough, so many people have been reaching out to me saying, Trippy, you cannot do that. I love Trevor. He's actually a nice guy. Now, I don't know what these guys are talking about. Even GMNE thinks that we should save Trevor, and maybe it's up to interpretation. Perhaps they put Trevor in there just so some people can relate to him. A lot of people relate to Franklin because for the most part, he's a pretty nice guy. And with Michael having so many skeletons in his closet, Many people can relate to that as well. So perhaps this is all up to interpretation, guys. But there is one thing that can be said about the Karma Mural. Unlike the Chiliad Mystery, which it looks like the UFOs, the aliens, all of that could be put into GTA Online. They cannot do that with the Karma Mystery. Our characters do not make any karma decisions. They really have no morals at all. They just do whatever they're told. In the storyline of Grand Theft Auto V, we have the three separate characters. And they have a lot of decisions to be made. Franklin, Trevor, and Michael. So in the Karma playthrough, we're going to take out Trevor at the end, but there's still a lot of choices to be made before we even get to the very end, guys. Including after that, when we get to Bigfoot, the game tells you that you have to keep Bigfoot alive. That's a choice that Franklin has to make, a Karma decision. If you kill off Bigfoot, then you cannot unlock the Bigfoot versus the Beast Easter egg in GTA Online. You see how that works? So definitely stay tuned, guys, as we will be doing all this stuff live. As much as the Karma playthrough is going to be crazy to finish out, we have to unlock the alien egg. If they're coming down to invade, they're going to be pissed off at us once we get that alien egg, guys. You guys can join up so that way you collect it along with everybody else in the Trippy Mafia in GTA Online. Thanks again for joining up for the episode, guys. The first video back with the new HD capture device, hopefully recorded. And look at this. I mean, come on. Trevor wearing the jack from the shining jacket or the whole wardrobe. Burying somebody in the desert. Yeah, he's a good guy, guys. He's a great guy. We're taking him out at the end of the Karma playthrough. Much love. Stay tuned. If you are new to the channel, subscribe so that way you're notified whenever we have a new video or brand new live stream, which we do almost every day. You guys can hit the notification button. It'll give you your own message whenever we start it up. 
Hit me up anytime on Twitter at TrippyComps. I'll have all the links in the description to make it easy for you guys. Developers said that we will never find all the hidden Easter eggs in the game and probably never solve all the mysteries. Stay tuned here at Trippy Commentaries, my friends. More importantly, as always, stay trippy.